Hey, this is Deborah again, coming back um, for an extended reading uh, for today, Saturday, May 21st. Um, something told me to just go back and relook at these cards again. Um, so I did, and I brought a few more cards, and I just want to share with everybody. So um, this deck, you got the Temperance, um, which says Angel of Peace. You got the King of Cups, Commitment, and you got the King of Wands, Leadership. And then I asked for some clarifier cards in a different deck for each of these cards. So we have the Four of Cups, the Sun in Reverse, and then for the King of Cups, we have the Page of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the clarifier for the King of Wands here is the High Priest Priestess in Reverse. So if I had to, you know, go back to this line here, for an extended reading, I would say, so this devil in reverse card is saying, you know, where, where is your peace being taken away? Um, cause you know, if, if you are finding you were, um, um, if the situation doesn't feel peaceful to you, uh, it really isn't going to allow you to shine the way you would, were desiring to, cause this, this Four of Cups is kind of unique. It's a different way of looking because all Four of Cups here are being presented to them. There's lots of fairies and there's lots of butterflies and it's about really, um, you know, this um, light, airy energy, um, transformative about really um, that, that extra cup that's being offered to you in the typical four of cups, it's almost as if you already um, are on board and you've accepted the cup and now you're you're allowing the, the energy to transform you. But I also see where it can pull you and distract you with all these fairies, where it can be distracting to your true goal and so there's energies out there that can be a little distracting um, to what your true goal is. And when you're distracted, you really don't shine. You don't shine in the way that you want to or the way that is going to best serve you. And that's where this, this fool card and this king of cups is, is, you know, with this being in reverse, it's where are you over committing yourself sometimes to things um, yes, you set out on a journey, this page of wands, you set out on a new beginning, a new passion. And is that all you really wanted out of it was money? Where are you over committing to try to get an end result of money? And pentacles, it, it's a material thing. Um, where, you know, it, the sure, we need money to make the world go around, you know, not, not make the world go around, but to pay for things and to make a lot, you know, a livelihood. And so there is, um, this fool in reverse is kind of like, are you over committing yourself? Uh, where, where might you be over committing to, um, to this, this new cup of energy that you um, are taking on? Where are you not possibly balancing for a more peaceful result, indulging yourself in these, um, extra things that are coming up, these where you kind of know that maybe it's too much. And of course, you got wands energy, king of wands with this nine of wands. King of wands is about leadership. You know, solar plexus energy, really um, exercising that uh, will of power within oneself. You know, are you going to... Um, you know, be that leader for yourself. And sure enough, this this high priestess is coming up in reverse and saying, you know, where are you not listening to your intuition? And this, the whole um, reading was pay attention to the red flags. You know, your intuition is a, is a red flag. You know, it, it's that it, it's, it picks up on the red flags that come into our world. So, or into our, our energy field. So we really got to listen to ourselves. So um, I'm, I'm, sticking firm with pay attention to red flags if something doesn't feel like it's it's uh, you overcommitted you're you're not you, you there 
you're being distracted from your true purpose, from the true cup that's being offered to you. You're really not going to shine if you entertain something that is um, not of your value or, you know, it's just being driven by a, um, a, a societal influence right now. Um, where'd you overcommit to yourself at? Um, yes, you started off on a, a, a new journey, it was, again, for just wealth and money. And, and if that's the case, then go for it. But I think, you know, with this wands, it's more about passion. You know, it, it, it's not about the outcome of money. Sure, that's nice, but God doesn't give us something just to go make money. He gives us something to inspire others and to drive um, um, a more soulful meaning in your life. And trust your intuition. You know, you you got to be your own leader. And you got to take breaks when you need to. That's how you, you build up your strength. If you, even if you pass on one, this is going to make you more stronger in the end. Trust your intuition. This, and this is saying... Where are you not trusting what you're feeling? You're trusting your intuition. So a little bit of an extended reading. Um, I think it helps to dive into things a little bit deeper just to see where the energy is coming from. I know I didn't flip cards on camera, but um, hey, I hope this helps everybody make the, the right decisions in their day. All right, have a great Saturday. Thanks. Bye.